This is Mike Comerford from Gloucester, Massachusetts. And uh, I am, uh, this is a, I have gone now through uh, Maine from Bar Harbor down here through New Hampshire, the 20 some miles of New Hampshire and have had an, an incredible time. It has been incredible. These are updates. I'm trying to do it per state or every so hundred, a few hundred miles in order to keep you updated on the background of the bicycle riding, add a little personality between the uh, interviews. And uh, so I'll leave out the Massachusetts parts and just the Maine and uh, New Hampshire parts of this first update. And I'm reading off my cell phone here. So, oh, so the beginning of the ride started with, I have published a book called Beast of Main Street. It's the, it's, uh, the first of the story cycle series and it's about bicycling along Route 66 for amazing COVID stories. And uh, on Route 66 is America's Main Street. And I call the book uh, Beast of Main Street. And it's an amazing book, but it had to be published right before this ride started. And I published it right as I started. So with a newly published book out less than a few days, I uh, left Bar Harbor through Acadia National Park and uh quite hilly so i am uh, uh out of shape and i am getting in shape on the ride so the beginning was a little trial by fire and uh the first night was november 1st and uh that's the mexican day of the dead that was right after halloween and so i in order to save money i am stealth camping now. so i found a uh I found a cemetery in Orland, uh, Maine, and I went in and the, uh, the uh, tombstones were dating back to the 1800s. And I go, wow, you know, in 1700s. I go, this part of America has older cemeteries and, and uh, this is the night of the dead. And so I went to sleep uh, with a lot of company. And of course, you know, the dead did wake me up a couple of times during the night, but I just opened my a uh, flap and yelled at them and to, to quiet down and they stopped their dancing and so forth. Uh, they were very considerate Yankees, Yankee uh, ghosts. And uh, so I've slept in uh, several cemeteries, including one. Oh, uh, I'm gonna, ew. one here in Massachusetts that I'll tell you about another time. And uh, so here we go. Uh, uh, one place I slept in was a uh, a campground that opened it up just for me. The whole campground, they just said, well, we're closed for the season, but for you, we'll make an exception. And that night was really freezing cold. So in November in Maine, we can really expect really bad weather, uh, bad weather, cold weather, wind and rain and, and snow. And so far we've been getting 70s, which are record days. And everyone's remarking on it. I just passed the person talking to his uh, mailman. He was raking leaves and he goes, look, you're out here delivering mail in your shorts. Can you believe it's November? So the lateness of winter this year has uh, really been uh, a factor. And also uh, we had, uh, when I got down to New Hampshire, uh, I, I was coming up on Hurricane Nicole, which uh, hit hard in Florida and came up the coast and was still 40 mile an hour gusts coming up here uh, with two or three inches of rain, but it mostly missed me. But on that day, the night before it was supposed to hit, I, uh, I got a flat tire. I realized it and hobbled my way over to a hotel. I just didn't want to uh, camp out during a hurricane night. It, you know, there could be flash floods, you know, you don't know. 
Uh, but uh, I went to the hotel and I looked for my wallet and it had fallen out somewhere on the road. So then I look at my phone to see if I have any identification and I get notified of a, a significant close family member who died. So I had a flat tire, no money, no identification, and a death in the family. It was a really rough 12 hours. Uh, the next day, everything turned around. Uh, not everything, but a lot of it turned around. Uh, the uh, Salisbury Police Department called up and said, we've got your wallet with all the credit cards and identification inside. Uh, I got a call from my sister saying that uh, there will be no services for my uh, family member. I do not have to fly back, uh, which I couldn't have done without an identification. But I had identification now and I got my bike fixed. So I uh, rode happily into, uh, into Massachusetts. And uh, actually I lost it on the border of Massachusetts. Um, Let's see here, here Cole, and, oh yeah, in Maine, I had a guy uh, flag me down from the side of the road. He had his uh, girlfriend uh, pull over to the side of the road, pull over to the side of the road, pull over to the side of the road. That guy's got this, tell me a story on the back of his bike. I gotta tell, I gotta talk to him. So I got an interview in Maine from someone who almost caused an accident by pulling over to the side of the road near a, near a uh, birdhouse uh, shop. And in Maine, and it was a terrific interview. Uh, then uh, let's see what else we had uh, in Portland, um, Maine. We had a fisherman, we had an artist, we had a, a clerk at a county at a uh, a small town grocery store, and of course we had the president of the Adla uh, of the College of the Atlantic, and numerous others. Uh, so we had great interviews uh, and some. Bicycle setbacks. Uh, I've been sleeping in uh, a lot of cemeteries and a lot of uh, uh, woods. Um, it's been cold. One morning it was so cold at that campground uh, that uh, it looked like snow when I got up the next morning because the frost was that thick on the grass. Um, I am risking some things because uh, my gear is not uh, ready for uh, super sub freezing weather cold um, for sleeping. Uh, I'll just wear a jacket on those nights, but we'll see. But I'm having an absolute fabulous time. Uh, the weather is cooperating. It's been a lot of tailwinds uh, so far. Um, they say the cold weather is coming. It's catching up to me. Uh, but the uh, Massachusetts is shaping up terrific. I've had a great experience here with unbelievable new uh, important interviews lined up. And uh, and so this uh, Atlantic coast and climate crisis is on its way. And uh, it's only the first few hundred miles, but uh, we uh, are going to be speeding up as we go down. But uh, I've gotten fishermen and, and a wide variety of people uh, talking about their lives and and how climate change has really affected all of us. And uh, I think it's going to be more fun ahead. So let's ride on together. Bye-bye.